everyone and welcome back to another Stardew Valley video. Thank you for joining me today on another adventure of Stardew Valley. I'm absolutely addicted to this game right now, it's absolutely taken over my life. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying these kind of videos as well. If you are excited to watch another Stardew Valley video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new around here. Let's get straight into this video. So if you've seen the last few videos guys, you can see all these giant crops on my farm here from winter. Well that project is done now, I've been working on something else, as you can tell it's the 28th of winter. So we've absolutely flew through winter. And what we have been doing guys, is we've been going for the ancient fruit wine. Now I have been harvesting and you know, producing a lot of ancient fruit wine. We have got absolutely so many. It's going to be a short video today. We are, I'm going to show you exactly how much ancient fruit wine I've got, guys. And we are going to sell it together. I'll show you now exactly how much we have got. But I think we might have a few more to harvest as well. Let's see if there's any. So this greenhouse is obviously full of ancient fruits. Um, every couple of days these grow. And this is the main ingredient for the ancient fruit wine. So then I've been collecting all that over there, and then you see I've got four sheds over here. These two here where I am, they're full of ancient fruit wine. And then the other two here, I've been working on these uh, for going to this one here. I've actually got crystallariums, I'll be doing a separate video for that, I'm going to fill that out with crystallariums. And then I'll be doing uh, preserved jars and casks in this one as well. So let's go and see if we've got some more ancient fruit wines to be harvested. And there we go, guys. This is the first shed. We've actually got some ancient fruit wines as well, to ready to collect. I've also got some stored inside the house. Um, and then we'll put them all together and sell them. So let's collect all these right now. Let's see how many we've actually got. Um, I've got two sheds full of these, and both of them have different layouts. As you can see, uh, this layout I've got here. I've got um, all the way around the edge. And then just like little alleyways and corridors to get through. Um, I was experimenting which layouts to go inside these sheds, which is obviously best to you know fill out and get more ancient fruit wines out of. So that harvest there gave me 58. So if we go into my other shed as well, actually, what I'm going to do quickly is I've got some ancient fruits here. Um, I'm going to fill all these back up. Ready? This is all I've been doing, guys. I've been you know sleeping through days fast. I've been collecting ancient fruits and then I've been collect putting them in these uh, kegs and then getting the ancient fruit wine. I've been doing this all the way, you know, for all the way through fall and winter. I've been doing this for quite a few months in Stardew Valley. Ready for today's video? I've got so many wine to sell. It is going to be absolutely insane. I've, I can, I've got a feeling I'm going to make a lot of money from this, guys. You probably can tell from the title, because I'll probably put in the title how much I've actually earned. So we've got 58 in that shed. I've been experimenting, and this is the second layout, as you can see. I was trying to see which ones you can get out of more. So if we remember 58 for the first one, then we can actually see how much we actually got in this one as well. And then I then now know which uh, layout to go with in future. So let's harvest all these up. I'm excited. There's so much wine here. As you know, this is the most valuable item on the game to sell. Especially if you want to, you can get more money out of this actually by um, putting in the casks in your attic, uh, in your basement, sorry. Uh, turn it into an iridium quality and it sells for, you know, three times more the value. So we've got 124 there. So let me just put them into separate piles. I need to get 58 out of this. So there you go, guys. We've got 58 in the first shed and this second shed layout gave me 66. So if you was ever experimenting with layouts, I'd probably go for this one here. It's quite decent, they filled out in the middle and then around the edge as well. And then you've got these little pathways to get into them. So that does give you a little bit more. So guys, we're going to go into the house now. And I'm going to show you exactly how much I've already got stored. I've, I've got so much stored, it is unbelievable. And then we're going to sell it and I want to see how much money ancient fruit can actually make it. I'm like, you know, is it worth waiting? Because it, it takes a long time to produce ancient fruit wine. And, you know, is it worth waiting to actually get the money? And as you can see, I've actually got four more here, which are turned into iridium quality. As you can see, four at the bottom there. I've also got in this thing here, I've got 47 iridium. I've only managed to do that many because trying to get ancient fruit wine to turn it into iridium quality takes absolutely ages. I think it takes nearly, you know, half a year to a full year to just to grow into an iridium quality. It takes ages, so I didn't want to do that because it would take too, too long. So as you can see, we've got 51 normal there. So we've got 124 there, and I've also got 764 in my storage. So that puts us on to 888, guys, plus the 51 iridium quality, which gives you, I think, double compared to those. 
Yes, it is. I've just I've just checked, guys. In the uh, Iridium quality wine gives you double the amount for a normal quality. So if I turned all of those 888 into Iridium, Jesus, I'll never be able to play this game again because I'll have that much money. So guys, we are going to sell this. Obviously, it's been a short video. I just want to see. I want to show you guys how much you can actually get for if you want to you know stick out and uh, go for these ancient fruit wines. There's been so much here. So we're going to sell the 51 Iridium and the 888 and let's see guys, they've gone now, they are sold, I'm excited for this. If you guys have a little guess, drop it in the comments before I submit this, let's see if any of you guys are correct, how much you think would get for, is it 9, yeah, just under 1000 uh, Iridium, um, not Iridium, normal quality and Iridium quality. Ancient fruit wine, so let's go to sleep guys, obviously it's only 8.20, it's first to spring the next day. And there we go. Oh, that is insane, guys. We got 2.2 million. Wow. 2,286,900 gold. So, <laughs> so 2 million and, you know, nearly not, not far off 2.5 mil. That is insane. Just from some uh, wine. So, there we go, guys. Look, just for 51, Iridium quality gave me 235k. And then obviously I got just over 2 million for the 888. In future, it's probably worth chucking those into the Iridium wine. You know, try and get the Iridium wine, chuck them in the cask. Because that gives you so much, it's unbelievable. But there we go guys, that is an insane harvest of ancient fruit wine. Which gave us nearly 2.5 million. If you can, that only took me, you know... I think it, I started in fall trying to get all those. So fall and winter, and there we go guys. So every two to three seasons of Stardew Valley, you can get yourself nearly three million. It's insane. I absolutely love that. That is going to be it for today, guys. A really short video. I've got a load of other things planned for Stardew Valley. I've got a lot of experiments that I want to do, a lot of videos I want to make. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new around here to see more of these. Share it with your friends. Tell everyone about this. It's insane. We just made nearly two and a half million from some ancient fruit wine. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.